Welcome to this demo of Easy Agile Team Rhythm. Like all Easy Agile apps, Easy Agile Team Rhythm is a native app that sits within Jira alongside your team board. For each Agile board in Jira, Team Rhythm provides you with two views. The first is a story map view to visualize and manage the work of the team. And the second is a retrospective board view with the space and structure to turn insights into action and continuously improve. Easy Agile Team Rhythm is a single tool for your team to plan, build and learn. Easy Agile Team Rhythm is an extension to each team's Agile board in Jira and will work for all Scrum or Kanban boards that sit in Jira software projects. To put it simply, once Easy Agile Team Rhythm is installed, every board in your Jira instance will have access to their own user story map and retrospective board by default. Lining the top of the user story map are your team's Jira epics that appear on your backlog. The Jira epics are ordered left to right based on their ranking in your team's backlog. Beneath each of the Jira epics from your team board are the Jira issues that live on your team's backlog. The swim lanes that appear on the user story map are the sprints from your team's backlog. It's from here you can create new epics, issues, sprints and versions directly on the story map with the confidence that all changes made on the user story map are reflected on your team's agile board in Jira in real time. Conversely, any changes made on the team's board in Jira will also automatically be reflected here. The data sync is two-way and in real time, so there is always a single source of truth in your story map. We can easily reorder issue priority via drag and drop. If we have issues scheduled in a sprint on our backlog in Jira, but these currently aren't linked to an epic, we can do this by simply opening up our backlog and dragging and dropping an issue directly onto our story map and under an epic. For issues already linked to an epic, we can access our backlog from the bottom swim lane of our story map. By clicking on the ellipsis, we can choose to remove an issue from an epic or schedule it into a sprint through quick actions. Quick actions can help us if we have issues scheduled in our sprint that no longer are priority or that we have capacity for. We can choose to send these issues to another sprint or to the top or bottom of our backlog. During backlog refinement, we want to be able to refine our user stories so that they contain enough detail for the team to understand them, create new user stories in response to newly discovered needs that have come up in the sprint or from our customer insights, reassess the priorities of our stories to make sure the most important is at the top, break down high priority user stories and estimate our issues and correct estimations based on our capacity. To round out our backlog refinement, we want to be able to estimate our work and understand the effort involved. To do this, we can easily inline estimate our issues. As we can see, the total estimates are updated in each swim lane as we update our tickets. If we move our work in and out of the swim lane, the estimate totals in each swim lane will update, making it easier to keep an eye on team commitment. By clicking on the filters panel, we can apply a number of combinations to filter our view of our third level hierarchy, epics or issues. This can include filtering by component or filtering by status. And additionally, we can apply quick filters, assignees, persona, and importance to persona for epic and user story level issue filtering. Once we've created a filter, we can save it as a view from the same panel. Saving a view means it can be accessed quickly and easily in the future, and we can share this view with our teammates or stakeholders. On the story map view, you can visualize up to four levels of issue hierarchy from a third level of hierarchy to subtasks on your issues. The third level of hierarchy on the story map is an optional extra layer of initiatives above your epics that help your team and stakeholders understand the scope of work and how the features being worked on now contribute to the broader product vision. Our swim lanes on the story map provide an extra dimension to our backlog that groups our work by sprint or versions, just like our epic columns group our stories under epics. The swim lanes help us to understand exactly what we'll deliver and when.
You can navigate to the retrospective board from the Jira sidebar menu on the left or from the retrospective tab in the header from the story map view. Just like we have a one-to-one -one relationship between our agile board and our story map, each of your sprints will automatically have a retrospective board created. By default, your team will see a retrospective board for their active sprint on their backlog. However, you can also select an active or historic sprint from the, your backlog to conduct a retrospective. The retrospective board uses a start, stop, continue model by default. However, you can customize the heading of each column. Under the bling template button at the top, you are also able to add and customize an additional column depending on your retrospective format. You can also choose to select another template for your retrospective to keep them interesting. In this example, we'll apply the Get Rhythm template, which is based on the four L's of retrospective, loved, learned, loathed, and longed for. We can now see we have some color, but we also have different prompts. Now we're talking about what things have had us singing along and thinking about what new loops could make us a hit. Adding a retrospective item is the same experience as adding a user story to our story map. When creating an item, you can opt to create it anonymously if you wish. We can also inline edit our retro item to add a description. As retro items get added, others in the team can interact with these in a number of ways. By adding a comment to give more context or detail, by creating an action item, by adding an emoji reaction to indicate sentiment, by upvoting or downvoting the item, and by adding a category to indicate a theme or group the retro items. We can also opt to send the retro action item to a different column. Depending on how the team is feeling, we might adjust our retro. It may mean we reduce our retro time or focus on certain items to match the energy. Setting a time box is easy to do in Team Rhythm with our timer feature. We might adjust the focus of our retro. We can do this by opting to sort or filter our retro board. From our retrospectives board, not only can we note down an action item right here on the board, but we can also convert it to a Jira issue, select its issue type, link it to an epic and schedule it into a sprint. Returning to our story map, we can now see that this issue is scheduled in our sprint in the corresponding epic column. Easy Agile Team Rhythm surfaces action items created in the previous retro that were not completed. Those converted into Jira issues, but with a status that is not yet done. Thanks for taking the time to learn more about Easy Agile Team Rhythm and how it can provide you and your team the context you need to plan and prioritize with confidence. If you'd like to try out the latest version for Easy Agile Team Rhythm for yourself, you can do so with no installation via our demo sandbox. Or of course, you're welcome to get started with a free trial of Easy Agile Team Rhythm via the Atlassian Marketplace, where you can see how it can transform your product backlog. <laughs>